Greetings everyone. Thank you for joining me today. In this short video we are going to look at the following points. I'm going to talk about how to use Azure Key Vault with Microsoft Power Automate and we will cover the following three points. First I'll talk about API keys and secrets in Power Automate. Then we will uh, actually do a practical thing with Azure Key Vault and look at how to store secrets in Azure Key Vault and how to reuse those secrets with Power Automate. And the last point would be how to remove sensitive information from uh, the flow history. So let's get to it. As an example, I already have one uh, flow that has been created and this flow requires some input parameters like uh, here I have a secret which will be used later to uh, call some uh, Microsoft Graph API commands. So here I have the secret, you see it's passed as a string variable, right? And this is the secret value. So what I want to do basically um, I want to try, instead of having the secret value here directly, I would uh, connect to Azure Key Vault and store the secret there, as this would be the best practice uh, to use Key Vault as a central storage point for secrets and certificates. It's a recommendation from Microsoft and uh, each major cloud provider uh, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, they have a similar service uh, to Key Vault. So let's get to it. Basically, in this page, I already have an Azure subscription open. Key Vault is a paid service, but it's not expensive. The pricing is very reasonable. Uh, you can look at Azure Calculator to see what the pricing would be. But it would be very reasonable. It would be maybe a couple of uh, dollars per month. Of course, it depends on the usage. There is a free quota and then there is a paid one, depending how much you would use. But in general, the, the pricing is reasonable, as I mentioned. So here I already have a key vault created. There is one security group, resource group and um, a key vault. If you do not have a key vault created, you can create one. Uh, and um, basically I have it created here and I have my secret stored here under secret one. So basically this is the current version of the secret and um, it has the value, the actual, you know, um, this thing right here. So this is the actual value of the secret which I have created in Azure Key Vault. Uh, if you want to create a new secret, you just go here, create, it would be manual, then give it a name and enter the, the value for the secret and uh, decide if it should be activated for a specific date and then just save it. So that's quite straightforward. Uh, so we have a secret, right, in this key vault, and now I want to use this secret with Power Automate. So what do I do first? So basically, I just add a step here, add an action, and if I look at the actions, there is something here called Azure Key Vault. And under Key Vault, there are some commands, some things we can do. So uh, basically, we will use the simplest one, the get, get secret. And now I would need to specify the name of the secret. If I look in the other window, the name of the secret, it's called secret one. And as you notice here, this is another account. This is not the account with which I run uh, Power Automate. It's another account. So I have created a connection in my Power Automate to another um, Azure subscription where this key vault is located. 
then I give it a name secret one you see it gives me an error that uh, could not retrieve values so I specify enter custom value and then I put it again so then what should happen when the flow is triggered then the value of the secret uh, we get and then of course I can put it into the variable or something like this uh, so I can reuse it later but for now the main idea is for us just to be able to read this value so I do the flow checker it shows zero errors I save the flow and then I run a test right I do the trigger action myself I run the flow the flow run now I look at the history and I see an error right it's right at this stage where it says get secret and let's have a look at the error what it says it says operation failed because the requested resource was not found in the vault and then there is a vault id so what could it mean let me see i think what happened here is that uh, this secret uh, was trying you know the flow was trying to pull this secret from another key vault that i had previously created and the reason for that is because this is an older connection you see under my connections we see this connection and this is the connection i had previously created which connected to another vault and uh, when i uh, create an action connections do not get updated automatically so i can either create a new connection and this is what i would have to do or i can update an existing connection if this is the account i want to use to connect to so let's go ahead and update an existing connection in my case i go here under where is connections data and then connections when I click on the connections, I see every connection which is used to, uh, in my uh, flow. And here I see uh, Azure Key Vault connection, it shows connected. But what happens is if I click on the edit, it connects to another vault. So I would need to connect to the vault with this name. And when we create a connection, it should be the name of the vault should be exactly as it's called in the Azure subscription. So it's KV190 in this case. I update the connection. It uh, what does it show me? It shows me cannot sign in. I click fix connection. I log in with my user. Uh, one second at I sign in with this specific user I enter the password and if the credentials are correct then you should get something like connected right so now I have the proper connection set up then I can go back to this flow. I go back to my flows and edit this specific flow. Uh, get secret is the same, right? Now it should connect to the right key vault and get this value. So let's have a look. I click save. I do test. I'll perform the trigger action. I run the flow one more time, I click done, voila, it's green now, right? So it's connected, it retrieved the value, right? And then this value can be reused. Of course, I get another error, but this error that I receive right now, it just means that, uh, let's have a look. It means that 
the group with the same name same value for property uh, already exists because i have uh, this flow would create an uh, office 365 group and since it already exists it gives an error the good thing though that i did not receive an error here the secret was read properly from from the key vault it means my connection works and then i can reuse the secret further in this flow so that briefly covers the points let me give you one more tip in some situations you do not want this information to be displayed um, in your uh, history uh, microsoft flow run history right so let's say if if a developer or someone is using it here and i do not want them to know this information uh, of this secret then there should be a way to hide it somehow and the way to do it it's quite simple if i click edit i uh, go to settings and here you see secure inputs preview and secure outputs these features are in preview but they're already functioning so if i click done right now i get this lock here and if i save and test the flow one more time i get the secret but the contents are hidden from the history because of the security configuration this is a pretty cool feature that uh, can be used you know if you have uh, some requirements to hide the secrets from from this run history so i hope this video has been helpful to you thank you for watching and have a wonderful day bye bye